Hi, I'm Michael Gordon. This week we had yet more evidence that the local economy is starting to get up ahead of steam. Firstly, the quarterly survey of business opinion. This is the most comprehensive of the business surveys and it really reinforced the sense that this upturn is becoming more widespread and it's not just a story about the Christchurch rebuild. Firms were their most optimistic in three years in June, they're saying they're more willing to hire and they're starting to report a bit more in the way of price pressures. So confidence is really now up across the board. Firms are more upbeat, employees are more hopeful about their prospects, and consumers are telling us that they're more willing to spend. That was confirmed by yet another solid pickup in card spending for June. We're seeing some quite strong growth in spending in dollar terms, and since inflation's quite low at the moment, we can take it that a lot of that growth has been in volumes. Now the Reserve Bank has noted that its dilemma is really in terms of low inflation today versus forecasts of higher inflation in the future. So they probably won't be rattled by the CPI figures out next week, where we're expecting annual inflation to slow to just 0.7%. If we're right, that'll be the lowest in nearly 14 years. The rising Kiwi dollar has done a lot to date to depress the rate of growth in house prices. So what happens with the currency from here is crucial. Even if it steadies from here, it's going to have less depressing effect on inflation in the future. And if it extends its recent decline, it could become a major source of inflation in coming years. This really comes down to what the Fed does with its own monetary policy. As we've noted in recent weeks, this has been a major factor driving global currency markets in recent times. Either way, with less help from the currency, a stronger economy, a hot housing market, and massive pressures on the construction industry, all of these point to higher inflation in the future. And we think, come next year, the Reserve Bank's dilemma will start to look distinctly one-sided. Talk to you next week.